In this presentation, we study the installed performance of a microwave antenna on a tilt rotor aircraft utilizing the Delcross Savant software. Savant is a commercial electromagnetic analysis software aimed at solving electrically large problems using modest computer systems. Savant is geared toward analysis of installed antenna patterns, near field radiation modeling, an accurate prediction of antenna to antenna coupling for application geometries on the order of hundreds or thousands of wavelengths in size. In this study, we'll consider a candidate antenna design for 2.3 GHz mounted on the roof of the aircraft just above the flight deck in the location shown by the head of the red arrow. Tilt rotor aircraft represent a unique challenge to installed antenna performance because of the dynamic nature of the aircraft geometry that affects the radiation pattern. The rotation of the props leads to a high frequency periodic modulation of the radiation pattern. In addition, the rotation of the engine nacelles dramatically changes the scattering environment as the aircraft transitions from horizontal travel to a vertical landing mode when the prop axes are turned to vertical. Now the local scattering from the props is quite different, as we will see later. At 2.3 GHz, our tilt rotor aircraft is about 133 by 97 wavelengths in size and nearly 37 wavelengths high. This would be a very large and long problem to analyze using traditional full-wave EM analysis software tools. Savant solves problems like this very efficiently on a typical desktop computing system. The blade monopole antenna design used in this simulation has been synthesized to typical requirements using the Antenna Magus package from Magus Software. Antenna Magus can synthesize a fully parameterized antenna design ready for simulation or optimization in a full-wave 3D electromagnetic software package. In this case, we used the CST Microwave Studio software to perform a detailed full-wave analysis of the isolated antenna with an assumed infinite flat ground plane. Current source moments representing the antenna in a near-field bounding surface known as a Huygens surface are extracted from CST Microwave Studio and placed on the aircraft CAD model in the Savant SBR solver to provide an accurate excitation model of the installed antenna. To generate the animations that you're about to see, 1,620 static orientations for the rotor blades and the engine assemblies were run. In each simulation step, the full 3D radiation pattern was computed and both an azimuth cut and an elevation cut were extracted. All simulations ran in six hours on a laptop computer with a stock NVIDIA video card utilizing parallel processing in the onboard GPU on that video adapter. This is a standard feature in Savant. Now let's see the results. The animation opens with props looking forward for in-flight operation. For the first 25 seconds or so, there is only prop rotation. After 25 seconds, you will see the engine nacelles begin to rotate from horizontal to vertical, turning the engine and rotor blades to a hover configuration. In the upper left corner, you see the full 3D installed radiation pattern for vertical polarization for the antenna. The rendering color indicates the field strength in the direction from the antenna origin. In the upper right-hand corner, you see an elevation pattern cut animation, and in the lower right-hand corner, an azimuth pattern cut animation. Savant provides a CAD model overlay in each cut, providing an accurate representation of the current geometry configuration. In the lower left-hand corner, you see an animation of the bouncing rays used in each step of the simulation. Rays that travel from the antenna into space without bouncing off the aircraft at least once are not shown for clarity. A single bounce reflection is shown with a green trace, second bounce traces in blue, third bounce in yellow, and fourth in red. A maximum of five bounces was used for the simulation. As you can see, the rotors contribute a great deal to the overall scattering, leading to multiple bounces and interactions to nearly all of the aircraft that is visible to them. Each static installed pattern calculation required about 13 seconds when generating AS and L cuts on a standard laptop with an NVIDIA graphics adapter. Each 3D installed pattern calculation required about 80 seconds. Savant can also be used on computing clusters with MPI, and such a cluster could reduce the overall simulation time to minutes.
As we have shown in this video series, Savant provides a very efficient tool for studying the installed antenna performance on an electrically large platform. The Savant SBR simulations were excited by a high fidelity full wave EM model for the antenna. Savant provides a powerful complementary capability to full wave solvers, extending high fidelity analysis capabilities to electrically enormous platforms. The effects of both static and dynamic platform geometry on the radiation patterns are observed in the simulations. The animation that we showed involved 1,620 separate Savant EM simulations. The complete computation cycle required about six hours on a quad-core laptop with a standard NVIDIA graphics adapter and GPU. Using higher-end hardware with an MPI formulation for computing clusters could drop the complete simulation cycle to less than an hour. Finally, the largest simulation considered for all of the results we've shown is under 450 megabytes. You don't need exotic or expensive hardware to make productive use of Savant. Thank you for viewing this Dell Cross Technologies presentation. For more information, feel free to visit us on the site at www.dellcross.com. For North American sales and support, contact Dell Cross Technologies or our agent, CST of America Incorporated. And outside North America, please contact CSTAG.